Did you know that you can set up collaborative activities for students in Kami? Kami's collaboration mode offers unique possibilities for students. Let's take a look. Let's use this example of a collaborative activity that we could do with a group of students. This is the teacher view. If I slide over, I can show you the student view. If you look at the student view, you'll notice that this teacher has limited the tools that students will be using during their collaborative experience. To learn more about feature controls, check out our feature controls video. It's important to note that there are a couple uniquenesses in Kami when it comes to collaboration. One of the things is that in the bottom right corner of our screen, you can see all of the different user icons here in these circles. Students or teachers can click on this plus seven. You can notice that people who are actively in the document have a green dot by their circle. Their circle has their initials and then right next to it is their name. So you can see that Sally's student is currently in the document as well as Ms. Robinson, whereas these other students have come into the document, but they've also closed out of it. If Sally's student is working to share her favorite drink and she's feeling overwhelmed by the number of other images that are on the page, what she can do is she can click here on this plus seven, she can go up to where it says all collaborators and she can turn everyone off. Then she can go over to the left hand side, hit her add media tool and go down to the Google image search, type in her favorite drink. And as she's doing this work, she won't see any other collaborators on the screen. She can simply do her own work resizing her image, cropping her image, and then taking it and putting it into the appropriate space. And when she's done working, she can go back up and turn all of her peers, all of her collaborators back on. So it's a nice way to be able to decrease student overwhelm. It's also important to note that students can't move or change each other's annotations. So if Sally comes over and tries to click on Sophie's lemonade, she can try to click on it, but she really can't do anything with it. She can't move it around. Likewise, if we were looking at text boxes or any other annotations like comments, none of these can be changed. She can't double click inside the box and delete the words or change the font. She's only able to work with her own annotations. This can provide a great deal of security for students and help to lessen their anxiety as they're working to collaborate and share their ideas in this digital environment. Thanks for watching.